let's pretend you have a simple database. It has in it tables, of course. I'm ch checking on all access objects. Tables, queries, forms and reports. Let's also pretend that you have several users who work on the same database. So they should all be connected to the same tables, but they probably have their own queries, their own forms, their own reports, depending on the kind of work they do with the database and what they need. So the best thing to do is to split the database. Go to Database Tools, Access Database, and split the database. And it automatically creates an underscore BE database, back-end database. We are going to split it. And the split was done successfully. So now you will see that there are links to the table. So this user has his or her own queries form reports, but they are all connected to the same tables. Now I'm going to simulate that another user is also using this database. So I'm opening access again. And this user has also the links to those tables and all the things. Let's say they are both working on the query subform timesheets. And let's say my job is to change the hours worked at that time. This is an old database. And let's pretend that that should have been 35 instead of 38. Has that been saved already in the link tables? Not yet, because I'm still in this record. I'm still editing. Let's go to the other user. They also have opened that same query, and that still has 38 in it, as we saw here before, that this person says, no, that should have been 30 hours. At the moment this person decides to go to another record, the record that he or she has changed will automatically be saved. So now it is 30 there. Why not here? Because this person is still editing that record. So let's say this one thinks that that should be 40. At the moment this person goes to another record, it will say, wait a minute, this record has been changed by another user since you started editing it. If you save the record, you will override the changes the other user made. So you have a choice. You can drop the changes or save the record if you want to see what did the other user do. Clip it to the clipboard, copy it to the clipboard, and check out what you want to do. I'm going to save the record, and it will automatically go into 40. If I go and look back at the other one, you will see that the other one also has 40 there. Um, I have to warn you only for one problem. You have to make sure that the changes you create, I'm going to the relationships window, are always in the many side table. So in this case, I changed the hours worked here. And that is the many side in the relationship because one employee has many timesheets. In other words, if I would have changed the hourly rate here, th that would probably affect the timesheet, depending on how your relationships are. That's the only drawback we have here. So you have to be careful what you can change and what you can't change. But if you can't change it, it will still tell you. It will tell you, sorry, we cannot change this value at all. So le let's pretend that for a moment. Let's say I take the form listing employees. And I'm saying in here that the hourly rate for this person should have been 22 instead of 11. I'm not saving it yet. I'm going to the other database. And I'm going to change it there into 25. At the moment I save this record. Then the other one is still waiting for 22. So when I click here, it will say, what do you want to do? The same story. But now it tells you, you cannot change this one because there is a related record included. So when I say, OK, I have a choice to go back to what I had, for instance, by pressing Escape key. And that was the 25 that was changed by another user. So now I can still change it. But that is after the other one had closed. 
a situation. So that is the advantage of a split database. It's, it's nice because you are working on the same database, on the same tables, but you do it in your own way with your own queries, forms and reports.